back to the channel. My name is Jamie. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be coloring this beautiful picture. We're going to be coloring the leaves and vegetation. Um, yeah, with our trusty Prismacolor pencils. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited. So, um, yes, we're going to just jump right in and do this. So let's pick some colors. So what I'm thinking is we'll do the leaves around the buds a little different than the um, leaves themselves. And then we'll have the stems be a little more brown. So that's, we're gonna have a couple of different color combinations. So here's my messy desk. <laughs> I need to clean it off. Um, let's grab sand brown for, and maybe olive green for the stems themselves and then we'll grab maybe something a little more what should we do okay let's do a little bit darker around the buds so we'll do dark green and maybe the apple green and then for the leaves themselves we'll add in some chartreuse okay good idea let me shift this over so i'm not coloring on top of i think this one would be a good one for us to color together and then i will color the rest on my own so let's do that okay and let me sharpen these really fast. Oh, that one didn't happen. Okay, so let's start with our stem here. Let's take the olive green and we'll put it in there a few places. I want the stem to kind of be brown but have a little bit of green in there. So we'll just put some green here and there and then we'll take the sandbar brown Go over the top of the green and we'll just fill in the rest. The stems are really small, so we don't need to do a whole lot to them. Yeah, just like that. Prismas are gonna lay down lots of color. You're not gonna have to work for it at all, which is why I love them so much. Maybe add a little pressure at your last kind of take of it, just to burnish that paper down a little bit. But you're not gonna have to do a lot. Okay, so we're done with that. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Okay, so um, you know what? Actually, we're not done with that. Let's take that up into the veins on the leaves. So we'll go back with that olive green first and just put it a little bit in those veins. And then the sandbar brown again, right over the top of it. Just that middle vein, I think. 
Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. All right, then we have the buds. So, oh, this is gonna be a quick video, but you're gonna like that, I promise. <laughs> so, PC908 is, um, I think, dark green. I have gotten, I have sharpened it down to where I can't see anymore, but I'm pretty sure it's dark green. So, we will put that dark green in the shadows and at the base. And then we're going to take that apple green and put it right over the top of the dark green and then fade it out a little bit. You don't have to take it all the way to the edges because we're going to actually finish the leaf with white just like we did with our... Um, flowers. So we'll take a really light color. Probably, maybe not even white in this case. Maybe we should take the cream, which is what we used on the pink flower. So we'll take the cream and then go over it, burnishing everything. Burnishing just means to flatten the tooth of the paper. So you're adding a little bit of pressure, but not a ton. You're not hurting your hand, not breaking your pencil. Just finishing that bud out. Look how pretty it is. Oh, I like it a lot. Pretty, pretty bud. Okay. Ooh, come on, camera. Hello. See our little bud? There it is. Okay. Then for the leaves, we're going to go back to that dark green and put in the shading, the shadows, the darker areas. Whatever you want dark, you can make your leaf patchy. You can put all the dark at the base. You can put lines in it. Whatever you want. If you're not sure, go outside and pick up a leaf and look at it and see all the different colors, tones, see that they're all different. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. So I was so excited on our last video because it was feeling like spring and the weather had been so nice. It had been like 50 to 60 degrees outside and oh sunny and lovely and it was so great. We now have 9 to 10 inches of snow on the ground. It's very sad. <laughs> but that is Utah weather right there. <laughs> okay, then let's get the apple green again, the 9 to 12. We'll go right over the top of the dark green and then just fade it out a little bit. Just go past it a little bit. Fade it out. So easy, comfortable. There we go. If you're not using Prismacolors, you might just have to build up the color a little bit more. I might have to make a few more passes, but that's just fine too. Just keep building the color. Just going right over the top of that dark green. And then just go past the dark green a little bit. Kind of like you're encircling that dark green, giving that dark green a hug. Just 
just enjoy the process, relax into it. It's so nice. It can be so relaxing to just put the color down. Don't think about it too much. It's great. Okay, then we're gonna take one of my favorite colors of all time, chartreuse. And we're gonna go right over the top of the dark green and the apple green and just encircle all of it, blend out a little bit. It's okay if you go over the top of those veins that we put in, no big deal. Ooh, I like it. It's so pretty. I love this color. I just feel like it brings so much lightness and to our leaves. I love it. Some brightness, some lightness. You can take this all the way to the edges if you want or you don't have to because you can use that cream again to burnish and blend out the rest of the way. But if you want to take this all the way to the edges, that's okay too. If you want to burnish with this one, that's okay too. Add a little pressure and finish off your leaf with it. That's just fine too. Okay. All right, let's take that cream. I'll add just a little bit of pressure, not enough to break my pencil, not enough to hurt my hand. Just a little added pressure. You're probably better than me and actually holding your pencil properly, but that thumb of mine has always liked to just tuck the pencil right down deep in my hand. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Have you come to join us? Were you outside in the snow? Yeah? Oh, man. Ooh, she's going to the groomers on St. Patrick's Day to get her winter coat removed, and now I'm just not so sure because I'm like, oh, now there's nine inches of snow. Oh, well, she's quite the little mangy mutt at the moment. We call her, uh, my husband calls her, uh, I can't remember. Oh, anyways, if I think of it, I'll let you know. Look at those, look how pretty. That's all we need to know to finish all of these leaves. Isn't that exciting? Short little video, I love it. All right, there she is. So pretty with all of the greenery. I love it. So nice. All right. Yes, yes. All right, you guys, that is it for today. I hope you have an awesome week, weekend, whatever it is for you that you find time to take a deep breath, relax, let that stress go, throw some color around, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.